Okay, thank you. Thank you. It's a, it's a great privilege to have the opportunity to, you know, the, a large fraction of the people who have uh, so successfully fought against uh, the uh, uh, failed hypothesis of human caused global warming are in this room, and there's nothing I could teach them. But I, uh, when we decided 15 years ago to try to do something useful in this, and to demonstrate that there was not a consensus of scientists, not to find out by polls what the truth was worth, but to prove that there was not a consensus of scientists, uh, as Al Gore claimed, that uh, agreed with the hypothesis of human-caused global warming, we needed to educate ourselves about the subject. And sure we did so, and uh, Willie soon were our teachers. Uh, they uh, worked with us for many months while we uh, we, were, we were scientists in one field of specialization, but until we learned enough about this subject that we felt comfortable that we were specialists in it. And then we're able to do the petition with the help of Willie and Fred Seitz and many other people. Uh, they, uh, they represent, I think, uh, something special that has uh, uh, helped our country in many times. You know, we have a constitutional republic. And we are now engaged in a great battle to preserve our constitutional republic. And the battles to preserve our science and the integrity of our science, to preserve our energy industry, and to preserve the other main aspects of our civilization against the encroachment of those who would end our constitutional republic are a concern for us all. But throughout our nation's history, every time our country is challenged, people seem to come out of the woodwork in America to help us sort of wild cards. American wild cards have saved our nation uh, constantly throughout our history. And these two men uh, are representative of that, as are many of the members of this audience. And I wonder sometimes, why does America always have these wild cards? And the reason is that in a free country, in a country characterized by liberty, the whole deck is wild cards. And when we need them, these people step forth. These men are... These two men, and especially Willie Soon, whom I have the privilege of, of presenting this award to, are representative of the best of American wild cards. Uh, they are fine scientists, they've made great sacrifices, they've taken great chances to do their work, but basically they're the same thing that has saved us time and time again throughout our history. American wild cards who have kept stepped forth and saved our nation at various times of peril. So it's, a, it's a tremendous privilege to be able to give this award to Willie Soon, who is somewhere. Oh, boy. Please. If I can have a few minutes, I'm uh, truly humble and honored by this uh, occasion. And I can say that uh, I would only be willing to stand up here if only all of you would accept this honors and award. For the defense of science and truth and freedom, together, because this is truly not an individual thing, and science can never be a personal uh, endeavor. We all have studied very, very hard about this issue and trying our best to learn the subject so that we can really uh, better ourselves in terms of really trying to better prepare for what the future may hold. And I think I should not say further that uh, this idea and uh, concept of these people trying to uh, basically push the idea that CO2 causes global warming, where I guess everybody knows now that the global temperature couldn't even show any warming uh, trend for this straight 17 and 18, almost 18 years or so. That is a seriously a very anti-science proposition. I would not say further than that anymore, and I just simply want to say thank you to everyone and like I say, I don't want this to be a very personal thing, but I do have to thank many, many people that I work with, especially all my scientific colleagues. 
and they all know who they are. My co-authors and all these people have taught me everything, including, of course, Dr. Art Robinson, Dr. Fred Singer, Dr. Bob Carter, and many, many of you. And, of course, the master of assembling all this scientific work for nitpick, which is Dr. Craig Itzo. This young and rising scientist is very, very serious, and uh, he has worked very hard to try to put together this major volume of scientific report, given, of course, all the limited resources we have. My final thing to say is basically, if you can learn anything about my personal example, I don't wish it to sound too cold. I would like to at least dedicate this uh, award to the memory of my late father, who barely has any chance to go to any, uh, any to receive any formal education. So he has only a total of six years in, in communist China. And uh, you can see a person like this, who basically don't have any opportunities about education and so on and so forth, but he value education and science, of course. He even have, we even have a mutual understanding that it is okay if it's about science that I could not attend his funeral. And all I have to do is just go later because we have a true understanding of what science is all about. Thank you. <laughs>